What's up guys welcome back for another Star Citizen video. In this video we're going to be going over the Aurora MR. This is a light fighter class ship. It is part of a starter pack or game package. It is one of the lower more cheaper tiers and it's kind of paired um, parallel to like the uh, Mustang Alpha. I have a lot of experience with this ship. My very first ship was the actual Mustang Alpha, but I ended up melting that one in favor of this one because it's just a lot. I feel like this ship is a lot better with the very low risk targets, low risk targets, and also just uh, delivery missions. There's less steps involved in actually getting cargo into this ship. So we're going to do a walk around, show you the interior, and then we'll probably go and do like a... Uh, VLRT just to kind of give you a good idea of the capabilities here my only thing to say about this ship is it's a little cramped I feel a little claustrophobic here but you can put all your delivery boxes in here no problem you have a ship bed here which allows you to ship log if you want to kind of take a break in between ports and then on each side of the ship you have two doors that open up other than that it is a pretty straightforward fighter not a whole lot to uh work uh, worry about on the on the outside here too much as far as weapons go it is equipped with two size one laser repeaters those are the cf tac 117 bulldogs and then for missiles it has a size one missiles which are the markman one and it's got two of those so if you do need to use missiles for your target it will work out just fine the other little bit of a gripe I have is like this transition animation right here to get into the captain's chair. The pilot seat is a little slow compared to other ships that you can get in starter packages, but that's just uh, kind of how it goes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of take off here from Lorville and head out to do a bounty mission. So you can kind of see how this goes. When you first get in here, you're probably going to be kind of looking at like this kind of uh, targeting but uh, I do recommend if you're starting off doing bounties we want to go into uh, gimbal mode so hit G to where that says auto and then what that will allow you to do is keep the target pip inside this circle here and the uh, weapons will automatically track there we'll go and pick up a mission and we'll go and get started on showing you how the combat works now in terms of speed it's a pretty fast and nimble ship and for quantum fuel range it's got about a little almost 600 quantum fuel capacity so it'll be good to travel between the crusader hurston um and all that you know our corp you you'll have to refuel probably every time you you kind of touch down but that's kind of uh kind of common for this tier of ship as far as uh sub warp you know atmospheric flight it's it's okay this mission in particular has us traveling like 100k, 120, 150k out to the target, which can be kind of a time sink, but that's also to be expected with a lot of bounty missions like that. But by the time we get here, um, we'll take this guy down pretty quick. So shouldn't have to worry too much about anything it the ship is fast enough that I can get into warp really quick, especially if you're doing bounties in like, say, Arc Corp. I usually recommend doing bounties in Arc Corp because the moons have really low gravity so you can enter atmosphere or enter orbit a lot quicker and it's just a little bit more efficient on time doing bounties there. But for the purpose of this video we're just going to do one of these here around Hurston and uh, kind of show you guys how the damage apl application is for the Aurora MR. Alright there's our target. I'm targeted up with T. Going to speed up a little bit think we can uh, kind of jump in and surprise them a little bit we want to just uh, keep moving in until we get that green pip and we can start firing with everything probably be able to start engaging at about you know 5k or uh, 5k a little bit less gotta get real close so one thing about these ships is some of these ranges are, are pretty uh, pretty close he's not moving yet so we can just kind of apply damage Move in a little bit. Once he starts strafing, we might have to, like, you know, move around a little bit. Let our stuff recharge. Looks like he's not even moving at all. There we go. Now he's moving. 
We just kind of keep with him. Keep his uh, pip inside the circle there. As you can see, these uh, repeaters, these uh, S1 repeaters, are going to need to recharge pretty frequently. I try to just keep my nose at the target. We do pretty well on tank. There we go. That's a good little uh, little bit there. I'm just going to kind of keep with him. Let everything recharge a little bit. As you can tell, it takes a little bit to get everything down, but... You can also uh, just take him down with a missile, too. So, let's back up. Let's show you the missiles. There we go. Try to get a full lock. There's a missile. Guy's a little dodgy. Kind of realign back to him. There we go. And that's a soft death right there, as you can see. He's going to go all the way to the deck. And then if you uh, want to like go in there and loot him or whatever, then that's possible. We're just going to watch him kind of fall. And now we can take care of his uh, wingman here. Where's this guy at? I guess he took off. Oh, there he is. Target him. I'll try to like, you know, go at a slower speed just so I can maneuver a little bit better. There, he's down. You don't have to take out the wingman either. You can legit just uh, take out the name target, and that's good enough. Overall, it's a pretty nifty little ship. Uh, take a little practice. I usually upgrade the uh, the weapons just a little bit, um, just to make it, the damage application a little bit better. But uh, yeah, it's a good uh, good starter ship just to get you know you kind of you know used to flying and used to doing uh, dog fighting and everything like that. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.